The exams are looming and you've already had to make decisions for your future education. But have you checked if you're eligible for a student grant yet? You should, because applying for a student grant is not as difficult as you might think. You do not need to have made a final decision on your college or course to see if you're eligible for a student grant. However, in order to qualify for a grant, you must be entering an approved full-time course in an approved college. Courses at private colleges are not approved for grants. SUSE is the newly appointed body for student grants and stands for Student Universal Support Ireland. SUSE will operate an online grant application system accessible at studentfinance.ie and for assistance you can contact the SUSE support desk by email or telephone. SUSE will also have a Facebook page which we hope you will like. The online application system has simplified the process to make it easier for you to apply for a student grant. As you answer the questions, the online system will automatically take you to the next appropriate question relevant to your application. Before you can register and begin to complete your application, there are a couple of things you will need to check. Firstly, have you got your PPS number and also your parent, parents or legal guardians PPS numbers? As some of the questions refer to income, you will need details on your income if you've been working part-time and of course your parent, parents or legal guardian's income for last year. It would be a good idea for both you and your parent, parents or legal guardians to complete the application together as many of the questions in the personal details and reckonable income sections can be best answered by them. It might be a good idea for you to ask whoever will be helping you to watch this tutorial in advance, which will be available at studentfinance.ie or on facebook.com slash support. The first thing you need to do is visit studentfinance.ie where you can access the SUSE registration and application system. After you've registered, you can log in and begin to complete your application. You don't have to finish it in one go. You can save and come back to it as often as you need to. Remember, once you hit that submit button at the very end, you cannot make changes to your application. Later on in this tutorial, you will be taken through different questions and stages of the online application. Now, timing is everything. So it's really important that now that you've applied for a college course, you do not wait until you've accepted a place in college. Apply early. SUSE needs to get going processing your application so you know by the time you go to college if you've been fully approved for your grant. The next step of planning for your online application once you have completed registration is to establish what category of applicant you are. This is important as it tells SUSE whose income to take into consideration when assessing you for eligibility. Most Leaving Certificate students will be in the dependent student category. This is a student who is aged under 23 years of age on the 1st of January of the year of entry to college and dependent on their parent, parents or legal guardians. If this is you, your application will be assessed on your income if you have any and your parent, parents or legal guardians incomes. So, now that you know which category of student you fall into, we can move on to filling in your online application form. But before you start your application, make sure you have your parent, parents or legal guardians PPS numbers accurate information on your and their earnings and income. Oh, and remember what category of student you are. SUSE cannot process your online application without all of this information. By the way, if you don't have your PPS number or you can't find it, they will have it at your school. For your parent, parents or legal guardian's PPS numbers, just have them contact the Department of Social Protection who will help them but make sure that you have all of this information available before you start to fill out your online application. As you go through your online application, and if you're unclear about any of the questions, simply click on the question mark symbol for a more detailed explanation. The SUSE support desk for email and telephone calls will be available for extended hours during the application period to help you deal with any individual questions. You will see the contact details for the support desk at the end of this video. Remember to simply answer all the prompted questions as requested. Now that you have the basic information needed, 
accessing the online student grant application system is easy. It will take you about 15 to 20 minutes to complete the application online. As you go through the application, remember the boxes coloured yellow are mandatory fields and must be completed. So now register your details first and then start completing the application form. This is section A, applicant's personal details. This section should display the details you supplied on registration. Your PPS number should be up top. Enter your personal details as asked. When you have completed your address and contact details, you will be asked to select what type of full-time course you want to do. Don't worry if you don't know the exact course you will be doing yet. Just take your first choice for now. The next section requests your CAO application number or UCAS number. If you are intending to do a PLC course, you will not need to complete this section. And now you know what type of applicant you are, you simply tick the relevant box and answer the questions requested. Moving on to section B. Again, this should be filled in by you and it's all about your nationality and residency details. Again, don't worry if this looks complicated. It's not really. Country of birth. Normally where your mother lived at the time of your birth. Put in your nationality. Now this next part is important. To be eligible for a student grant, you must be legally resident in Ireland for at least three of the last five years. If you have been, just click yes. If you haven't lived in Ireland for three of the last five years, just give details. You may still be eligible for a grant for tuition fees only. Now on to Section C. Section C covers your academic history. If you are doing your Leaving Cert this year, just fill in that section and the online system will prompt the next question. This now brings you to the personal details section. Remember the online system will interactively guide you through your application. As you're a dependent student, your parent, parents or legal guardian mentioned earlier might now be useful to have sitting beside you. This information is very straightforward to fill in. You should already have your parent or parents legal guardians PPS numbers. Just go through the questions as they appear. Now, we're nearly there, as in we're on to the last section of the form, Reckonable Income. So, what is Reckonable Income? It's gross income before tax, from all sources in Ireland and abroad in the last tax year. That's basically any money received from employment, self-employment, farming or social welfare payments, and would also include income from rental income, savings and investments, retirement or redundancy, gifts and inheritances. Did your parent, parents or legal guardian make or receive payments into or from a pension scheme? All this information will, if appropriate to your application, have to be taken into account for reckonable income. Not all the questions are relevant to everyone, but the important thing is to answer the questions specific to you. So far, all the Reckonable Earnings section has requested is details for the last tax year. However, if there has been a permanent change in circumstances in relation to earnings, for example, basic salary reduced, regular allowances or overtime reduced or no longer available, redundancy or ceased trading since last year, or changes to your nationality or residence status. You should complete the change in circumstances question. Next, you must read the data protection statement and make sure you tick all the relevant boxes that agree with the terms and conditions of the declaration at the end of the agreement. SUSE cannot process your online application for eligibility without acknowledgement of this agreement. Now you're nearly ready to go. 
take a moment to go back over all the sections and make sure you've completed all the questions applicable and you're happy with your answers. Remember, you can edit your application and come back to it at any stage before you hit that submit button. Once you've completed the application and submitted it, Susie will assess your eligibility to proceed to the next step of the process. Susie will write to you, providing you with a documentary evidence pack, which will include an application declaration form, which must be signed by everyone listed, a personalised schedule of documents required from you and the relevant members of your family, explanations of the documents required, and details of where to get them if you do not have them at home already. A change in the application process means that photocopies of your documents are needed, not originals. As part of the SUSE audit and fraud control work, you may be contacted at a later stage in the application process to provide the original versions of the documents you supplied. So keep them handy. Your personalised schedule of documents will also have a recommended return by date, usually a month later. It is important that you return your photocopied documents back to SUSE at the same time and by that date to avoid delays in processing your application further. The pack will also include a pre-addressed envelope to return photocopies of documents to SUSE. Remember, you won't need to submit them until you hear back from SUSE regarding your eligibility to progress to the next stage of the process. If you are having any difficulties, the SUSE support desk for email and telephone queries is there to help. You may be asked to supply the following documents as proof of age, nationality and residency. Remember, photocopies only, no originals. Birth certificate. Proof of your nationality, such as a copy of your passport or EU national identity card. Proof of residency, such as evidence that you sat the junior and leaving certificate exams in Ireland or equivalent from an EU, EEA country or Switzerland. You may be also asked to supply the following documents as proof of income. Your, your parents or guardians, P21 revenue form and P60 for the last tax year or a P45, which looks like this, or a social welfare statement. For the self-employed or families involved in farming, the full set of accounts or notice of assessment submitted in the previous tax year will need to be provided. The SUSE documentary pack will list the documents relevant to you after an initial assessment of your application. The explanatory notes in your SUSE pack will also provide details of where to get these documents. It is best to be ready to respond to SUSE as soon as you can, so they can process your application further and, if eligible, award your grant in time for you to start college. Finally, some SUSE tips on making a successful application. Remember, you do not need to have finalised your choice of course or college to register and apply, so do it when the online system is available. Fill in your application with your parent, parents or guardian beside you. Give accurate income figures as the answers about your and your parent, parents, guardian's income make a difference. Make sure the photocopies of your earnings documents are for the last tax year. Make sure that the application declaration form is signed by all the persons listed on it. Make sure you return your personalised document schedule with all the requested photocopy documents enclosed at the same time. Remember the recommended return by date for all your documents to be sent to SUSE in the pre-addressed envelope provided. Keep your originals as they may be requested later. Remember, the SUSE support desk is also there to support you. Just email support at suzy.cdvec.ie or telephone 0761 08 78 74 if you have any queries. You can also find a question and answer section on studentfinance.ie and a list of frequently asked questions will also be published on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash support. Best of luck in filling in your form and have a great time in college.